So finally, we're gonna start with our database that is MongoDB. In this video, we're gonna connect our Mern stack app that we have built up until now to MongoDB database. So if you're not yet following this Mern chat app series up until now, click the link in the description to access the full playlist. Now let's jump to our browser and create an account at MongoDB. So I've went to this website, mongodb.com and click on sign in. And you can create your account with the email address or with Google. I'm gonna go ahead with Google. All right, accept the privacy policy. And there we have it. So let's try MongoDB Cloud now. So we need to sign up to MongoDB Atlas. So let's sign up with Google. So now there's two ways to use MongoDB. Either you can use it locally with MongoDB Compass or you can use MongoDB Atlas that is the online version of the same. So I would recommend using MongoDB Atlas because at the end we need to host our application somewhere, right? So this will help us out in that. All right, so let's create an organization. Okay, let's name your organization. Yeah, I'm gonna just name it Roadside Coder. Uh, you can see all of these features that you get. Next, add members. No, I'm not gonna add anyone. Let's create the organization. All right, there we go. Let's create a new project now. So our project will be called, let's say, Mern Chat App and click on next. Nope, I'm not going to add any members. There we have it. Let's create a new database for our app. So here you're going to see we have multiple options, but we're going to go ahead with the free version. So let's click on create and you can choose a database type. I'm going to choose the free version that is shared version. Just leave all of these to default as they are and create cluster. All right, there we go. Now we need to provide a username and password to our database. So um, let's say I'm going to provide roadside coder and password. Let me put it in. Cool. Remember this password. Create user. All right, my user has been created. Uh, where would you like to connect from? Um, I'm, I'm just going to leave this for now. Um, I'll, I'll just go to the databases. Okay, now you can see over here that our cluster is being created. It takes one to three minutes to provision. All right, cool. Meanwhile, that's being created. Let's go to database access and you can see we have already created our user. So let's go to network access and provide the access to our database and click on add IP address. Now it's going to ask you from which IP address would you like to allow the access to your database? So for this tutorial, I'm going to allow access from anywhere. So it's, it's not really recommended when you're building a production grade app, you should provide a specific IP address of your hosting service, or you can also provide your current IP address if you want only this database to be accessed from your computer. Okay, so I'm just allowing access from anywhere for now and confirm. Cool, so let's see if our cluster has been created or not. It's still being created, let's wait. There we go, our cluster has been created successfully. Let's connect to our database now. Okay, so we're gonna connect to the application. Okay, connect your application. And now this is the important part. You need to get this Mongo URI. Also make sure you're selected Node.js as the driver over here. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this line and copy it up. And let's go back to our code inside of the backend. Um, okay, I'm gonna add that Mongo URI to the .env file. So I'm gonna say Mongo URI and I'm gonna provide that over here. Also, you need to replace this password with whatever the password that you have provided over there. For example, if your password is Piyush, so you can keep like this over here. All right, now to connect our database, I'm gonna create a new folder in our backend called config. So let's create a new file called db.js. Okay, so this db.js file will be responsible for connecting to our database. So as you might already remember, we have already installed this package called mongoose. So I'm going to import mongoose. Now I'm going to create a function to connect to our database. So I'm going to name that function connect db. And this is going to be an asynchronous function. Now inside of this, I'm going to have a try catch block. And inside of the try, I'm going to say const connection equals await. And now if you type mongoose dot connect, this will be responsible to connect to the database. And this requires two things you can see over here. It requires a URI, which we have copied and some options. 
So URI was our Mongo URI, right? So to, how to access the dot env variable? Process dot env dot Mongo. Oops. And the second thing this takes is a few options. So I'm going to provide the options over here. And those will be new URL parser to true, new unified topology to true and use find and modify to be true. Okay. Now this, when this has successfully connected, we're going to take this and console log it. We're going to say MongoDB connected and just give the connection host. So con dot connection dot host cool and in the error what we're gonna say this console log the error so backtick error is error dot message that and we're gonna exit the process just like that and now let's import this connect db function so module dot exports connect db cool Let's take this connect DB and import it inside of our server. But before that, I'm going to start our server. So npm start. All right, there we go. So inside of the server.js, I'm going to go to the top. And right below this, I'm going to say connect DB. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to add it over here. And let's import this just like that. Let's save this. Let's see how does that work. Okay, we have an error. The URI parameter to open URI must be a string, but got undefined. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we need to do it below the .env config, right? Because we are using the .env. So yeah, I think this was the mistake. Uh, error option. Fuse find and modify is not supported. Okay, then we're just going to remove this. And there we go. MongoDB has been successfully connected. Awesome. Cool, so our MongoDB has been connected successfully, but you know what, I'll just do one more thing. I'll just make this command line a little bit more beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and install a package, npm install called colors. Make sure you're in the root of your folder. There we go, colors has been installed. And now you're gonna see if I go to the server.js and import colors. And now if I go over here and say dot yellow dot bold. And now if we restart our server, you're going to see this appears like this server started on port 5000. Let's make this line beautiful as well. I'm going to say dot send dot underline to connected message and to the error. I'm going to say dot red dot bold. So that this looks a little bit distinct and beautiful. Yep. Just like that. Awesome. So there we go. We have successfully connected our MongoDB to our Mindstack app. Now in our next video, I'm going to go ahead and create the API for our user authentication and then connect it to our front end with the login and sign up UI that we had created in our previous video. So if you're not yet following this playlist, just go to youtube.com right now slash roadside coder, click on playlists and check out this full Monstack chat app with socket IO playlist and subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications on and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.